Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here. Uh, back in EverQuest on Project 1999 as you can see. Uh, and this is the first time I've done any recording now for, for about two weeks, I think, probably since the last video. Is it two weeks? It probably must be two weeks, yeah. Because um, I haven't really been playing the game too much. Last week I played it a fair bit. Uh, as you can see, Mugwort's made some progress up to level 30.71 um, in a hell level, but it's going, going okay. But this week... Yeah, essentially not done much at all. I logged in last night. I think that was a lot. I think that was the first time I logged in last night um, for a game. Uh, if you must excuse me. First of all, I've got a bit of a cold, so if I sound like a trombone, or if I have to um, just mute the mic while I cough for a second, <laughs> uh, you must excuse me. But um, but yeah, but I haven't, I haven't been playing much at all. Uh, but I'm but, but I'm back now. I mean, I do have some other games to play over the coming period. Uh, I I I bought myself Thief. That I'm going to be having a look at this morning. Might do a video on it just to say what I think. Maybe uh, I was I wasn't actually going to pre-order Thief, which is amazing, amazing really, because it's it's one of my favourite all-time series. Um, but the feedback that the the, the 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 you know the press and the feedback coming out of, coming from the game before release was a bit crap. But a couple of sort of sources that I rely upon um, have said that it's a pretty good game still. You know, I mean, if you're expecting Thief, you there's certain things that are going to annoy the crap out of you. But um, but essentially, yeah, you know, if 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 you, it's a good game. But there's, if you're a thief fan, there are certain things that are probably going to drive you mad. So I'm going to give that a go. Uh, I'm also in the uh, Elder Scrolls Online beta I, again over the weekend, so I'm going to give that a go as well. Um, I've actually pre-ordered that. Amazingly enough, um, I haven't been particularly kind to it. I don't think, um, and it sort of it's it's almost like an anathema to to EverQuest really. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of like the the complete opposite. You know, it's trying to achieve different things. I understand, but but actually, again, you know, a couple of sources that I rely upon. I've kind of watched a few videos and spoken to a few people who have played a sort of a bit a bit later game, and they do say, you know, I think if you're a fan of Elder Scrolls, you'll you'll get something out of it as the game goes along. Um, and there, are, there, there are more challenging, challenge, there are more challenging aspects in the game, and and they've kind of been ramping up the difficulty a bit, I think. So, so yeah, so so I've pre-ordered that as well. So when that comes out in April, I will be playing that. And actually, what I might do is just do a do a, like a, a little beta video over the weekend because I'm because I think you can do that now because the NDA has been lifted. So so yeah, kind of other stuff going on. That's partly why I haven't been playing EverQuest too much. But let's uh, let's bash a tree and. Um, I suppose I should start off by saying uh, thanks for all the comments on the previous video, the uh, you know what class to play kind of video. I, th I think generally, mo you know, I think probably most of you get get where I'm coming from. Um, oh God damn it! I'm a bit. Uh, it's uh, you know the, the the video, you know those sort of videos and questions. Obviously, they're a bit rhetorical, you know, because I mean the thing is that we all know what we like, what we don't like, ultimately. Uh, and a lot of questions I ask generally are sort of. Uh, is that he's trying to root me? Is he? I should have. He's trying to root me, the bugger. I should, I should have. <laughs> I should have. Um, I should have tried to stop that. He's actually giving me a massive beating here, uh, and he's gonna. He's gonna chain, uh, chain cut, chain heal as well now, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. No, he's not. I'm gonna get him on the run. I might have to sort of stop and uh, heal up a bit here. It's um. These fights can be problematic or not. You know, I've had fights where essentially the Trian is running after about 10 seconds. Uh, I've kind of got a bit of a formula down where you nuke twice, that puts him on about 50% life. Uh, melee down to just above 40% because that's when they start healing. <coughs> nuke them again, that takes them below 20 and then they'll start running. But sometimes it doesn't work out, your spells get interrupted. Uh, they just seem to, you know, sometimes they'll do no damage. As you can see there, they'll, they'll do a ton of damage. Uh, you won't resist their spell, so you end up sort of, yeah, sitting on your backside for a, for a period of time. But anyway, yeah, back to the previous video, as, as I said, you know, questions are generally obviously quite rhetorical. We all know what we like, you know. Uh, I sat here this morning in the company of some, a couple of lovely croissants uh, and some nice coffee. That's what I, you know, <laughs> that's what I like. I, 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 when I get up in the morning for breakfast, I don't go out and look around and pick up the cornflake box you know, then put it back and then go over and get some toast out and think, oh, actually, no, I, I want some croissant and go and get the You know, I don't do that. <laughs> um, and it's the same with, same with MMOs, really. You know, we, we kind of know what we like. And I know what I like, really. I mean, ultimately, I kind of... Uh, um, I always come back to The Shaman. 
that that's the conclusion that I've come to over the last uh, couple of weeks and since the, pr the previous video. Um, whatever I'm doing, wh whenever I log in a different class or character, I'm kind of always thinking about Mugwort or Bugrot, essentially, um, because I because of the, the class race combination, you know, and, and that's uh, and that's kind of where I'm going to be trying to channel my. Uh, um, you know my, my energies as it were sort of you know in in, the, in those directions um, over the sort of the coming the coming weeks leading up to um, coming weeks or months even leading up to uh, Velius's release I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm not sure sort of what to do from a from a race point of view I, ha I mean I have to say that like bug rot is probably the uh, the character that um, it's probably the character that I've enjoyed the most out of all the characters I've played. Mugwalk kind of was a creation out of my, um, I think more to do with the channel, you know, more my sort of my feelings that I wasn't getting the footage I should be getting to put on, on the channel. So I kind of create, started another shaman, you know, crazily, because I thought that this time it would be different, you know, I'd be grouping more and get different footage, and so far that hasn't really been the case. And I think to myself, well, actually, um, Mugwalks. I mean, I I love the the ogre race, but you know, to be honest, Mugwalks created out of a necessity for the channel, which you know I'll come to shortly. But I don't give a shit about that anymore. To be quite frank, you know, it's a thing where people can, will kind of either watch what I'm doing or not. Um, but yeah, so so that's kind of where he came from. And I mean, and I'm still playing. Obviously, I'm still playing him, as you can see, because I I like the class race combination. But I think ultimately, you know, he's still 11 levels behind Bug Rot. You know, would it make sense for me just to? get back on bug rot get some stuff going uh, and get yeah get up to a point where um, yeah I'm, I'm personally just experiencing uh, uh, different things it, but it's purely going to be a, a race choice I think really at the moment I'm, I'm not you know I'm, I'm kind of not sure where to what way to go is it worth taking bug rot through the next 11 levels to catch up with uh, sorry mugwort to catch up with bug rot I don't know you know am I actually going to do much grouping with mugwort <laughs> over the next 11 levels uh, I don't know, but then I kind of got to that point where I don't care, to be honest with you. I'm just going to be playing the game and enjoying it as, as I enjoy it, and uh, yeah, and, and just sort of go from there, really. Try and be a bit more uh, a bit more relaxed about it. Um, but anyway, it, yeah, it's, uh, thanks for all the comments previously. As, as I said, you know, you, you, a lot, I think I think it's... Uh, I'm, I'm sure most of you understand that a lot of these questions are try, just trying to... Um, just trying to encourage debate. But, but I'm also interested in in sort of in what you think about um, uh, about how 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 I'm playing the game, you know, how I'm experiencing things. Um, but it, but it's all just it's all you know it's all sort of just for for debate really, you know. So we've uh, we've got something interesting to talk about, I guess. <laughs> I did. Uh, it's the first video I've ever I've, I've ever come into where I kind of had a bit of a bit of a rant ready about sort of on the similar subject really. You know, you kind of like people to make comments, but. Yeah, so it's the first video where I, I kind of had a bit of a mini rant prepared about uh, sort of YouTube culture, where, and you see it all over the place, you know, where you've kind of got <coughs> certain uh, certain people who watch YouTube. Maybe it's the same in real life. I don't know. I've never experienced it to be honest, but uh, yeah, where there's sort of there's a, there's a thing where people sort of want you to do, people want you to play the game how 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 they play the game because they feel that. Um, you know, they, they, but, but a, lot, a lot of people, particularly on the forum, seem to assume that you've got as much time as they have to play the game. You know, there was, I was reading a thread the other day, and someone had put sort of 25 hours is sort of casual. Well, no, it's not, mate. You know, <laughs> 25 hours a week. No, no, it's not. You know, uh, it, that's pretty uh, not hardcore, but that's, that's 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 a fair amount of time. I I I don't play 25 hours a week. I don't think. Um, but yeah, there's this sort of YouTube thing. But I'm, I'm sure it's not just a YouTube thing where people sort of think that you should play the game how they play the game uh, that's what they want to see you know they don't they want to stay don't want to see a person playing the game how they play it you know they want to see that you play it how they how they how they play it, how they want to play it um but, but yeah but i think there's a lack of understanding there about sort of time and and whatnot um and but also you just got you just got p, p you kind of experience some come across some people as well not actually playing the game you're playing but they still, w but they want you to play the game in the way that they think you should be playing it. You know, it's a weird thing, and you see it. You see it quite a lot. I mean, I was, I was at a pretty, uh, I was watching, um, uh, a, well, a, I say pretty big, a massive YouTube channel. I was watching a video from a YouTube channel last night, and uh, these guys kind of, I'm, you probably know, what I'm talking about these guys made their name from Minecraft, and they're massive now. Um, but they don't, they don't play so much Minecraft, and, and every time they put a different video up, you'll always get people in the comments box saying, "Oh my 
fucking god, what's this shit game? You know, play more Minecraft, rah, kind of kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it's it's a similar sort of attitude, and, and it's uh, a bit weird. But I think also what I've noticed watching some uh, EverQuest channels over the last few weeks, uh, and taking a bit more notice of of things, is that the people always also seem to be the sort of people who sort of channel hop between uh, channel hop between channels where games are being played that are interesting. Obviously, going around looking at different channels is, uh, you know, I do it. There's not a problem in itself, but there, there is certainly, a, again, there's a thing where you there, you know, kind of channel hopping around and doing the same stuff at, at, on each channel. You know, I'm not sure kind of what they're, they're trying to achieve. You know, they sort of, they just want something to stick somewhere on some channel maybe where someone finally takes notice of them and does and is doing what they're telling them to do. Uh, maybe they just want to appear on a video, you know, and they don't want to go through the effort of making videos themselves. I don't know. You know, it's again, it's a, it's a strange phenomena. Um, but yeah, but overall, you know, th thanks for the comments. Um, as I said, I mean, I, I kind of generally can always come back to the shaman, uh, and I think sort of going ahead, that's what I'm going to be doing. But but uh, but it's a uh, you know, it's it's purely going to be a, a class kind. So it's purely going to be a race thing, I think. Probably, I'm I'm really not sure. Whether it's worth taking Bugrot through the next sort of eleven levels to catch up with uh, Mugwort, you know, if, if it's actually going to be um, just worth it, really, you know, is it is it going to be worth it? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, there you go. This is a bit of a better fight. This one, as I said, sometimes with these treants, there, I've kind of got a little bit of a scheme going uh, where they, or a bit of a tactic going where you kind of you hit them a couple of times. Uh, I've already got one of those, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, you hit them with, 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 with uh, you hit them with frost strike a couple of times. That takes them down to about fifty percent. Um, <coughs> I kind of melee. I, I then sort of melee them to, to just below, just above forty percent. If you do another nuke, that takes them below. You need to do it. You don't want to get them onto forty because they start chain healing. So get get them to sort of forty two, forty three percent life. Then cast another frost strike. That takes them below twenty, and they'll start running. Um, yeah, that one dropped. Uh, that one drops 70 gold roughly so that's that's sort of seven plat and uh, that's one of the good things about this uh, about this particular camp is that they you can make yourself a, f a fair amount of plat um, because they drop so much gold a bit of a pain you know you have to uh, you end up with a, with a massive <laughs> a massive weight of gold to, <laughs> to contend with but um but yeah but that's fine that's you know it's not too much of a problem um, you, you can there's a little trick you can do with a gem if you go over to the uh, if you go over to the um, uh, the centaur um, merchant as a little trick you can do to change up your, your gold into plat. I'll try and show you that a bit later uh, when I get to that point. But yeah, so this is where I'm at the moment. This is I'm currently tramping, camping the treants where the experience is pretty good. Um, it's taken me through hell level pretty pretty re you know pretty pretty quickly I would say. And you and you make yourself a fair bit of plat as well for this level. Um, you do as I said you know it can be a bit of a tricky camp. I mean I mean I'm fairly well twinked I would say for a level 30 um, and sometimes the fights are quite close I think if you get your if you get your timing right you know you can you can end the fights pretty quickly but yeah sometimes it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm getting slightly disconcerted about that tree and just lying dead behind me I do like the old bearded fellows <laughs> I love the way they I love, I love the the fact they make the sound of like a you know a tree blowing in the wind or creaking and stuff but ultimately an ogre's got to do what an ogre's got to do, um, yeah, and that's just uh, that's just how it goes, basically. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the situation that I'm in from a from a character point of view. Uh, I'm always coming back to the shame, and I think ultimately it's the, the class I've always enjoyed. But but I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, I make some sort of decision today, but I'm sitting here thinking to myself, you know, is it really worth me going through the next eleven levels to catch up with Bug Rot? Because uh, I do like the troll model, I have to say, particularly troll in in totemic armor. Um, but thinking about Velia, so I'm wondering if it's worth just hacking it out with Mugwort. Um, I, I know that they say that sh uh, at level 60, you know, soloing, sort of summoning stuff, and Ogre has a bit. Well, Ogre has a, a bit slightly easier time, I think, generally because of the the fact that it's, it's easier to get to get spells off. Uh, I think the whole stun immunity thing probably doesn't really seem to describe the what the skill is, because I don't think you are immune. <laughs> I think it just makes it easier for you. So I guess that's a, something to take into consideration. That you know, uh, is it best to have an ogre or a troll at uh, Invelius? We'll have to. I'll have to see. 
but yeah, so so that's where we are on on a character front. Some other things have been happening. Um, Pantheon didn't didn't um, didn't meet its goal, which I thought was a bit of a shame. I mean, it appears as though uh, Brad and his team are going to be doing some um, just some sort of crowdfunding of their own. I think probably I was quite surprised actually because what I thought would happen, and I think a lot of people thought would happen, um, is going to not be dizzying wind. No, I uh, he's going for it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think a lot of people thought that, uh, you know, oh, for God's sake, oh, God damn it, Bob. Uh, he got him healing, he got himself healing there, which is a bit of a bit of a pain in the arse. Oh, he's going to, is he going to heal himself? Yeah, he's got some healing going off. Oh, dead, there we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad, that fight. Just keep nuking, essentially. I imagine this is a super camp for a wizard, <laughs> or a magician even, you know, it's, uh, yeah, the hit points are pretty uh, pretty low, about a thousand, I think, probably by the looks of things. Um, <coughs> yeah, so so Pantheon didn't get didn't get the funding, uh, but I think they're going to do it themselves. I was quite surprised, as, as I was saying, because I thought that someone I thought it would be one of those situations where they had someone ready to come in at the end to make sure to to just put the rest of the money in to make sure it got funded, but they they it didn't do that. So I'm assuming that any um, any rewards that that the P99 guys were going to give out for for Pantheon getting funded now won't be going ahead. Uh, I don't know if they'll tie something in with. Um, uh, with you know with Brad McQuaid and his team with regards to their own crowdfunding I'm I'm not sure but but yeah I'm assuming that won't be going ahead now so no XP bonus pots and that kind of thing which I don't know maybe in the long run is a is a good thing um so that's that yeah what else have I got to talk about oh yeah yeah just sort of an interesting thread I was reading the um I think this was a couple of weeks ago it was put up now but I was reading it recently and uh, someone put a thread up on the forum saying that soloing is a Kind of a required skill on Project 1999, and I'm, I'm, I wasn't even someone who solos quite a lot. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Uh, but it's interesting looking at a lot of the comments because obviously there were people in there who do solo, and a lot of these people seem to be um, kind of old timers who have come back to the game, <coughs> like myself, you know. And a lot of them are saying we've now got families and and that kind of thing. So you know, we and that's probably why there's a lot of necromancers and shamans and stuff around, you know, because they're the classes where, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, I was hoping not to cough on cam on the camera, on mic there. But yeah, they're sort of uh, uh, people who have got families and jobs and kids, you know, and all sorts of other stuff going on, so they don't really have the time to devote to, to what they're doing. Um, you know, they don't have four hours sitting in a group. You know, I don't have four hours sitting in a group. And, and that's kind of what I was kind of talking about earlier, you know, with their, I think there's a, an expectation, uh, probably from, like, you know, it goes two ways, from myself as well. Maybe I'm expecting... Uh, certain things from people as well um, but yeah the expectation that we're all kind of because we're playing EverQuest that means we've got a lot of time to devote to it but we haven't you know and I've uh, after the, the last video I've got a lot, of, a lot of tells in game from people saying I kind of play the game in a similar way you know I don't have the time to go to uh, Unrest or you know Kesora uh, or Sebelis or wherever it may be and sit there wa wait an hour for a group and then sit in a group for four hours it's just uh, completely unrealistic as far as I'm concerned uh, so I don't, and I don't have the time to do that, and I've got quite a lot of comments in game around that sort of that sort of uh, thing. But it's an interesting, Fred, because as I said, a lot of people saying we've grown up essentially. But I was thinking about my situation, and for me, I'm going to nuke this bugger before he actually buffs himself too much. But for me, I kind of never really had that period where I was student, stroke, studying, stroke, uh, even unemployed. Really, you know, I, I know I've never had that period of EverQuest or any MMO where I. I could wake up in the morning and just devote time to the game. You know, it, it was never something that, that happened for me. But back when EverQuest first came out, I was roughly 30 years old. <laughs> you know, which is probably older than a lot of people playing on Project 99 at the moment. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. You know, I, I never had that period of time where I was studying or, you know, I, I just had a load of free time when I woke up in the morning to uh, to play an MMO. You know, that's just uh, that was just, just one of those things. Not complaining about it. You know, I'm, I'm not particularly bothered either way on with regards to that. But yeah, it was uh, just interesting that there's there's quite a lot of people in a similar situation. And I do think that's I do feel that's why you see quite a lot of uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, shamans and um, necromancers. I was talking to a shaman friend actually a, a short while ago. I think he's about level forty or something now, just over level forty. Uh, and I was talking to a uh, a warrior as well who. Because like, of you know, sort of a conversation, and it came out that he kind of solos quite a lot as well. 
uh, as a warrior, you know, but he just likes smacking things in the face. You know, that's why he kind of chose a warrior. But, but yeah, it's a similar sort of thing, really. You know, they they log in, they run around the world, they enjoy being in the world. The warrior enjoyed smacking things in the face, <laughs> which was a bit worrying. You know, that's all he played the game for, I think, just a bit of stress relief, <laughs> violent outlet. To, <laughs> um, yeah, and, and that's it. They log in, they play their game, they they rarely group, but they just enjoy being an EverQuest, and I think that's kind of. I think that's how I how I feel about it and uh, play the game. But as I said, you know, you've got, uh, I think with YouTube, everyone experiences it, experiences it at some point. You know, there's just an element of uh, of people who watch videos who have a certain expectation, you know, and they kind of want you to meet that, that expectation. And that's, uh, yeah, not going to happen, fortunately. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so so that was interesting. That was interesting, but it kind of struck a nerve with me essentially because I, you know, I was never in that situation where I, as I said, you know, never in that situation where I had a, uh, where I've been playing an MMO, um, and had that free time to devote to it. You know, I've, I've always been log in, log out, kind of casual, kind of uh, kind of thing. And maybe that maybe that's what's kind of germinated and, and developed my the way I play the game now you know the, the, the fact that even if I do get time I kind of still prefer just to log in and do my own thing but I think I'm sure that's probably being a also partly being a bit of a crotchety old uh, old git who doesn't want kind of doesn't really want well, one of the other things that came up in in the um in the uh in in the the thread and obviously people didn't say the crotchety old git bit but essentially they were saying that I'm a crotchety old git <laughs> I haven't got much time to play the game when I log in I don't want my time dominated by someone else you know which again I think is uh, I think is fair comment I think there's an awful lot of uh, good things to say about grouping up uh, and I've been doing some geoing recently with with a friend and kind of been speaking to a couple of other people and maybe sort of planning on doing some stuff so uh, yeah it's it's kind of good to do to do that but I think uh, I think like a sort of some people that I've spoken to, I kind of prefer to, for it to be on my own terms, which is a bit selfish, but you know, it's uh, that's kind of just how it uh, how it goes. I think really. Um, so that's it. So I'm here at the Treants. If anyone ever wants wants somewhat something different to do at level thirty, uh, you probably stay up to level thirty four. I would imagine you earn yourself some nice plat as well. Um, come here, you know, because they're they're pretty uh, pretty easy. I would say I've had a couple of close scares, but that's generally been when spells have been resisted and you know I, I had one where I thought I was casting Manuk but I kept constantly casting Invented Breath and I think to myself why isn't this bloody thing dying or running away <laughs> and suddenly I realised I was casting Invented Breath and uh, I had to run uh, of course having to run from Treants is not a good thing because they, they do run at Spirit Wolf speed if you let them buff themselves I think uh, and they do cast spells and they no matter how quickly you run you know you never seem to be able to get out of spell range which is uh, yeah bit of an NPC thing I think probably. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Let's uh let's kill one more. Just uh make sure I'm on full health. Uh, don't need too much too much mana particularly what's that? Uh Frost Strike is 100 mana so I normally find I need to cast it about four times or so. Uh three times if if you want to sort of me uh, melee it down at the end. But yeah normally it's it's one 150 damage. Actually they've only got they've only got about 600 hit points. Uh, two puts them on to sort of 50-ish percent. Oh, then melee down to low 40s percent. Hit them again, and they're running. Look at that. That was a <laughs> awesome. That was a perfect example of um, yeah of how it should work. I've got a dot on me, but it's 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 the lower level one, stinging swarm. I think yeah. Sometimes sometimes they'll cast creeping crud on you, which is a bit more of a pain in the ass, but. I sit myself down with my regeneration and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, that was a perfect run. That, that's how it should work. Uh, two nukes, one me one melee hit, and they're running. You know, another nuke and they're running. And then and that's and that's it. Anyway, guys, sorry it's been so long since I did another video. Uh, I will be sort of back doing videos a bit more regularly over the coming uh, coming weeks. Uh, next video, you'll probably see what I've decided to do. As I said, I've I keep going back to the shaman, and, and that's kind of telling me really that that's that's where where my heart is set. Um, but but I, but I I've just need to decide now, really, is it worth me carrying on with mugwort, or should I just head back over to bug rot and get some stuff going there? I've got some. I've got some. If I do, I've got some plans. Um, I I've I've never fought spectres before, so I, I want to go and have a bit of bash on some spectres. Apparently, dwarf guards in butcher block are pretty good for that level. 
Um, I also might put, if, you know, if I do at some point with Mugwort, I do it as well. You know, I kind of want to start doing some epic quest stuff, so I might pop over to City of Mist and whatnot and see what the hell that's all about, and then run away scared. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll speak to you again soon.